Hello, I am Victoria Seymour and I am here hosting the second day of Adobe Live this week with Javier Garcia and we're getting into, uh, we'll just get right back into maybe like doing our branding. Yep. yep. Um, so maybe we'll do one more for people who weren't here yesterday. We'll do another uh, quick intro, maybe show your Behance again. Sure. And then we'll explain what we're doing. Should have been here yesterday though. It was great. <laughs> Luckily you can watch it. Ooh, Connecticut, okay. hello. All right, so let's go. Actually, we have one thing that we have in our hands today. So maybe we can open that on Behance and then talk about it. Oh yeah. An older project. An older project. When I was stalking <laughs> Javier's work, <laughs> I ordered this record. Oh wow. And uh, if we scroll through, so can you tell me a little bit about this project? Because it stood out. It was really, uh, I really love the design that you did for the, the record. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. He contacted me a while ago, kind of when I started doing more illustration. That I, I was just kind of inspired of more of the kind of art I collected and things like that. And he kind of liked my work. His music was kind of related to it. Um, so he hired me to do his first CDs, which I think are here as well. This is awesome. So. Um, you know, musicians, there's not a lot of money in, in, in music, and they're just starting out. So he wanted, he was making two records and uh, only had money to pay for one. And um, initially, he wanted to make the same record, just like a different color. <clears throat> and then I just kind of proposed switching the illustration a little bit. And um, and those, that's what we ended up with. So this kind of similar looking CD, I just kind of switched the illustrations around. And then... Um, they, he released his second record and he came back to me because he, he liked the first ones. And uh, this is it. And Yeah, so we actually have it in our hands. Victoria bought it. Yeah, I bought it because <laughs> I'm a stalker. Yeah. So um, it's just and then a, let's pull the vinyl kind of a out. jazz. Because um, I love the red. The choice, The I got the limited edition mm -hmm. red vinyl. Whoa. Ooh, yeah, check this out. It's beautiful. Other than I didn't paint my nails. <laughs> um, yeah, this is fantastic. It's nice because like I'm in a different sect of design where I never get to hold anything that I make because it's all digital. So having this like tangible piece mm -hmm. of something that you created that yeah, you know, an EMP goes off and everything I've ever done gets destroyed. Yeah, but, like you have the record. Yeah, this isn't going anywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and what's funny is in, in you know in recent years people don't want to spend the money it. to to do a yeah. record, a vinyl record. Um, so I was literally um, begging so this guy, like, oh, you gotta make a, make a vinyl and... Uh, Check this out, oh yeah. Finally Ooh. convinced him for his second record, and it's there. I'm not very good at GoProing with my shaky hand. It's reversed, but that's right. Uh, and we'll go back to front, right? Yeah. Whoa, Whoa, I touched the buttons myself, guys. <laughs> Is that yeah. not what it's, is it not an EMP? What is the thing where an electromagnetic explosion, right? In the movies, what happens is it wipes all the computers out and we're all screwed. Oh, yeah. That's not sure if that's actually how it works, but... They will find that. They according work. to my movie knowledge. <laughs> all right, so maybe let's, uh, let's open the brief from yesterday and then kind of show like a, a quick look at what we uh, got into. Yep. So... I'm not sure if it's morning for all of you guys. It's, I guess, technically afternoon for us, but get your coffee ready, because we're doing coffee branding right now. <laughs> yeah, so it's a premium coffee brand, uh, fictitious, uh, called Eclipse, and they're basically a, a coffee shop that likes to uh, sponsor form many forms of art, um, like music, uh, painting, uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, so the name Eclipse uh, just was kind of relevant to the, the, the idea of co how precise coffee making is and how um, Eclipse to uh, Latin American uh, cultures was kind of a negative thing. Um, but um, back in the days, uh, the astronomers were um, so good that they managed to predict such events. So um, the idea of tying the Eclipse to, to that sort of event and the precision of coffee ma making and roasting thought uh, it was interesting and also kind of um, I like the idea of doing something that looks like space and we talked about aliens yesterday yeah 
<laughs> so um, yeah, it's just this is just kind of the coffee shop we're kind of um, uh, going towards. Uh, kind of dim lights, uh, sponsors you know many forms of art, skateboarders maybe, um, music, and then. Awesome. Everyone's like, it's bedtime. I forgot we're in California. So actually, it is everyone's bedtime. It's never too late for another cup of coffee. You should just drink more and watch yeah, the rest of the streams today. So, yeah, this is just kind of some brands that um, are in the area. Um, this coffee shop is supposed to be based in San Francisco, uh, which is where I live. And this is just kind of a mood board of space inspiration of Eclipse events. Um, this is just kind of a mood board that I pulled from some old books uh, that has things that kind of uh, simulate spa like eclipse effects and things yeah. that I could be inspired by to make a pattern or make um, you know some sort of radial. Yeah, um, this was cool. Graphic. Yesterday we actually like had the books in our hands and we were looking through them, and it was cool going through and looking at all these old designs and seeing how much that they could apply to something that we're doing today. Yep. So today we had a pretty brief start, I mean yesterday, and uh, I just kind of went last night and tweaked a little bit, tweaked it a little bit more. Um, actually, it's worked... the classic design obsession where you're like, yeah. I gotta work on it a little bit extra. Yeah, it almost doesn't look like I did much, but I cleaned up things here and there. I played around with erasing the serifs on this Bodoni's uh, oh, nice. typeface. Oh, so right, yeah, I it's finally, really clean today. Finally clean it up, uh, looks a little bit better. Um, I actually kind of liked how I kept the serifs on the eye. Yeah. For some reason, kind of make it made it unique. Um, and I just kind of cleaned up the type and started um, um, keeping it real simple. I kind of like how um, when we left yesterday, this was pretty minimal. So I want to keep the, the typography in it pretty minimal as well. Yeah. So keeping it maybe to um, just white. And we'll all explore maybe some uh, subtle colors here and there. Um, and then just playing around with bringing in different logo here, I think um, I started setting up. Is that up a foil stamp? Yeah, I started setting nice. up some some uh, nice. some type yesterday, and I kind of clean it up, organized it a little bit better uh, for today. Maybe there's there's a label <laughs> that comes in. It's just very early in the process right now, just experimenting. And then I went Make on some new logos. Yeah, I went on and made some uh, little seals that we could add. Uh, I kind of started applying it, maybe like a foil, a little subtle detail to call out the organic yeah. and the fair trade. Made a little uh, coffee bean icon there. Ooh, someone asked, what resolution do you work in for package design? But this is, is this vector? Because it's in, yeah, this yeah. is all vector based. Yeah, this so. is all vector. Um, actually, the just so my computer doesn't slow down too bad. Uh, I made low resolutions of the of the images of the mock-ups you were looking at. Mm -hmm. These are pretty low resolution, just so I can just copy over and over and, and, and just keep exploring. And then once you have what you want, yeah. uh, what's the next step in the process? Yeah, once I have what I want, once it's finalized, I'll, I'll go and do the high-res uh, okay. one. And um, do you do it in Photoshop or do you do it in yeah, Illustrator? Yeah, for this I would probably just bring all the vectors into Photoshop and just to make it look a little bit more okay. realistic. Um, and then just, I was exploring maybe some labels that I can try on later. Uh, I explored doing like a little grid of information. Uh, maybe it's more minimal uh, with the grid kind of subtle at the bottom. Uh, some that are more just typographic, uh, cleaner stuff. Nice. Do you actually draw out like geometric grids and then delete them or do you just kind of eyeball it? No, it's just uh, okay. eyeball, yeah. At, at, at this point, I'm just, I just play with it and, and have some fun. I try not to be precise with things. Because, you know, like uh, I could end up spending too much time on something that I probably won't use. And then I also, I went in and added some details to um, Ooh, to this, uh, this tool that we were playing around with yesterday. It's yeah. kind of an astronomy uh, tool that... Um, Trivia I, question, does anyone remember what it's called? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I really love the center one with the, the new detail, the little hatch marks that you've added. Yeah. Oh, nice. That looks really amazing. So yeah, anyways, uh, this is where we were yesterday, and I kind of added some detail to get over here. Um, and then I started exploring with um, the typhus maybe felt a little too heavy. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and then I started exploring, uh, making it an outline. Um, yeah. um, I Danielle also... got it. <laughs> 
I also went in and played around with making it a little bit more rough, less vectory. Well, now, did you just do this by doing a live trace, or did you? No, I went into Photoshop and I blur it, and then I oh, sharpen oh, it nice. a bunch of times, and then I turn it into a, a TIFF, and then I vectorize that TIFF. Nice. Uh, did that. <laughs> yeah, I do that a lot with my with things that I I don't have a lot of time to to make it rough, but ideally, if I really wanted to make it rough, I will probably print this out and um, and trace over it you with a pen. Use a lot of like like print techniques, older techniques yeah. also, you take things off the computer or start off the computer and then bring them in. Yeah. That's awesome. I, um, if you're not really good with using brushes, uh, like I can tell when, when people are using like uh, brushes that are made in the computer. Yeah. Um, some people are really good at it and you can, you'll never tell, but uh, I like to go Kyle. and actually just do it by <laughs> hand. It's just, yeah. It's, it doesn't take a long time, especially if it's already drawn. I just trace over it. It's, it'll take me like, Five to ten minutes to Hooper do that. So I think, uh, yeah, and I actually it was looking. I wasn't liking where well, how it was looking on pack. I dropped it. Um, so I made like another alternate version where it doesn't have that. Uh, it doesn't wrap around the the thing. Um, actually, I'll show you oh, guys. Oh, I see it on the package now too. I was exploring it over here where. Oops, did I delete it? Let's see. It was for some reason looking a little bit nautical. Mm. So I wasn't liking the vibe. Um, even the even could, the could the, the actual eclipse be a foil stamp? Or would uh, that be like a lot of detail for like a varnish or a stamp? I you could do foil stamp, yeah. I think it'll work. You can get some uh, fine detail in there. But anyways, for some reason, it was feeling too nautical. Mm. Yeah. Maybe not. I'm, now I'm looking at it with different. Every set of time eyes. I like open my computer and look at something yeah. again, I, like I've changed my mind. I'll look at things months later and be yeah. like, I changed my mind. I love this. Like, why did I hate it before? Yeah. So I kind of just explore just something subtle. Although this doesn't really communicate um, Eclipse very much, especially if you don't know what that tool is. Or um, so I think for today, I kind of wanna. Uh, since I already have uh, a bunch of the information mapped out, what I do is I usually I'll I'll get rid of the the rules in between, or I'll just move type around that I already mm -hmm. have set, and I play around with uh, it on, on different packs. So I think what I'll do today is I'll start bringing in some of the textures that I had, be applying some color and see. Uh, yeah, awesome! We get to... I'm excited to see how this uh, so... how this is gonna break down. I'm gonna go ahead and start reorganizing my. Boards. And I see you made a whole bunch more of the uh, phases of the moon. Um, yeah, I was playing around with a little bit with that, with this pattern, kind of spaced it out a little yeah. more. Spaced um, it out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how many art boards are you using right now? Currently, we are at what four? Yeah, I think. Five, six. Uh, yeah, how many do I have? I have learned yeah, yesterday six. there's a maximum of 100, which Whoa. I would not recommend having 100 artboards open. Yeah. Hello! Yeah, heavy let's file. See, let's see, I'm just gonna move this over here. Oh, nice. Oops. Oh, yeah, because the, the layer's locked? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah, also maybe show again how you're doing the your mask with the textures of each of these layers, just so people... Yeah, so people that are just tuning in, I usually do a, a background layer where I put my mock-up images, mm -hmm. and they're over here. And then I do a top layer with just highlights to kind of help me visualize things a little, yeah. a little more. Um, and then all the artwork is in the middle. And so it's, that's, that's it's what, using Multiply, right? Yeah. The, yeah. Everything is mask. I created a, a, a mask uh, for all the art, and I just kind of place a background color in it. I could just change this to, to whatever anything. you want. Yeah. Oops. Well, as we were talking yesterday, we were looking at some competitor brands, and I'm telling you, bright colors do attract. Like, yeah. I do judge a book by its mm -hmm. cover. Yeah. So It'll get me every time. So. I'm going to go ahead and reorganize my ports again. Oh, uh, nice. Locked again. Oops. What was the first version of Illustrator that you used? <sighs> I think I was like, like CS2. Oh, nice. No, no. 
eight or nine, I think. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely struggle with. I like that with blue with white updates. I know that we were just dragging something around to show yeah. that you can change colors, but it's like kind of a happy accident, yeah. as uh, Bob Ross would say. I think we can we can explore having some full color yeah. like that. Um, Ooh, the dark dark is nice too. Kind of lose the details. Yeah, that's the paper texture. Oh yeah, which tablet are you using again? Just oh, one of the I'm not Wacom. I'm using it right now. I don't know why. But is it well, the... Yeah, it's a Wacom uh, Intuos. I think it's in yeah. the Intuos. I can never remember the models of what I do. Yeah. I also always Three, lose, I think. you know, it comes with all those tips for the yeah. pen, and then I immediately lose them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a lot of people actually don't know that there's pans hidden inside that little trash can yeah. looking thing. So. <laughs> trash can. <laughs> so. Was the mock-up of the bag pre-made, or did you make it in Illustrator? Oh, I bought it. You bought it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is um, but right he now. Made a, he made the mask though. Yeah, right now it's flat. Uh, in Photoshop, there's uh, much more layers and textures that it looks a lot more realistic than it does in Illustrator. But just for the sake of uh, working quickly, I, I just I move things around over it and I lay some uh, highlights and shadows on top yeah. just to kind of visualize it. But well, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually bring in a texture. Blue packaging and gold lettering would be red. Yeah, that would be cool. Blue packaging and gold That's lettering? That's what, yeah, I mean, when we were playing with it before. So these are textures yesterday that, oh, this is really cool. Um, now this one's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this packaging is so pretty. So, I mean, I love space also, so I'm always gonna be a sucker. Yeah. And That's are you doing, were you doing the black theme. box for legibility purposes? Yeah, just kind of knocked it out. Um, so it doesn't interfere with the type. Uh, How does the color of the package change? It's just a, it's just a mask. It's one of the layers, right? Yeah, one of the layers is actually a vector shape. Mm -hmm. It's over here. Oh, that's even kind of neat to interrupt it a little bit. Half. Yeah. What do you guys think? We can, bleed we can definitely explore that. This is what I kind of adding in one of these. This is literally what I do when I. You could even like have it like each package blends into the next package somehow, so it like eclipses mm -hmm. in. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah. You can start it once you once you have things set up. Save um, a little money. All on the ink. type. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and this it? was, you did this with a, so you took a piece of paper and just India ink? Yeah. And you just used and a just toothbrush? Toothbrush. And then scanned it. it. Yeah. And do you have a picture of the scan so people can see it really quickly? Yeah. Nice. The scan cleaned up looks like this. Ooh, that's a gigantic <laughs> scan. It is. 10,000 pixels? I should make it smaller, actually, so Woo! my computer doesn't crash. How long have you been that. designing? I've been designing for over 10 years, maybe 11 or 12, something like that. Nice. Yep. It's scary sometimes when you're like, oh, man, it's been a decade. Yeah. Where oh. did you get the template for the coffee bag? Uh, from Yellow. Yellow. Yeah. Something. There's Yellow lots comps. of, uh, there's also some really great free resources like Graphic Burger and a few other places have mm -hmm. um, templates that are free to download that have uh, PSDs and uh, vector mock ups that you can manipulate for whatever you want for commercial use. So definitely when you're Googling, always Google free public domain design templates and you'll find a whole bunch of treats. Vertical strip, yeah. I'm just gonna replace those real quick so my computer doesn't crash. I almost wonder what it would look like if you actually had an image of like an actual galaxy mixed in with your texture too, or if it would be overwhelming. What do you mean? Oh, like, like a, an actual yeah. like image of space. I think I'm gonna try some things like that today. So let's just replace this one. Or you could have this background and actually have like the text in an eclipse because it is an outer space. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which scanner do you use? Uh, I think I have an Epson scanner. 
Yeah. I don't Can't remember, remember the actual the name model, of mine is either. But, yeah, it's probably like EP one, two, three, four. Yeah. Uh, something. I mean, you can definitely, if you don't have a scanner, you can use your one. iPhone and bring things in if you yeah. just take a picture of them. I mean, the tools we have now, I mean, it's crazy the resolution that yeah, you can get for, out of these little tiny computers. For this kind of stuff, once you turn it into um, a bitmap, it'll kind of work out if, even if you re, uh, upsize it. Yeah. It'll just, the edges will become blurry when you look at the first, uh, at the image at first, but then you turn it into a bitmap and it just kind of sharpens it. Yeah. And bit. in this case, that rough texture yeah. is actually helping. This is what you're going yeah. for. So, yeah. It, it, it does. It doesn't matter. We're in Illustrator right now, not in Photoshop, but we've taken a scanned image of ink that's been sort of sprayed onto paper, and we've brought it in to Illustrator, made it a vector or a bitmap, and turned it white and plopped it in the mask, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So this is where you can kind of try few different logos. Yes, coffee jokes now or later. I mean, I'll always take a coffee joke. I love jokes. I tried to do a, a Twitter joke today. It was a it was not a good one. Hold on. I did. <clears throat> How do you do the branding for a for space themed coffee? You plan it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you use Live Trace for that shape? Uh, for what shape? For the splatter. Uh, no. Like when you brought it in, like how can you show me how you converted it? Uh, like the image to what you have now, just so that people can see that process. This image? Yeah. Um, it's just a TIFF. It's a bitmap. Yeah. Okay. So once you it, it's uh once you turn it into it's the image looks like. Was it just like in, this? Okay. Um. So the TIFF file, the bitmap file. Did you go actually, in Photoshop the white, too? The white doesn't show up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. You can just color it, whatever, um, and the white one not, wouldn't show up. Okay. Which is kind of cool. That's why I used a lot of bitmaps. Um, actually, that was vectorized, but I can show you guys how a bitmap image when of that logo. When does a lawyer make coffee? I think this when is does... a bitmap image. So I can go ahead and apply that here. And if I make it white, oops, white, it'll it'll turn white. Nice. This is actually one image, it's not vector. So you can see how that the color doesn't mm -hmm. I mean the white doesn't show. And it's not a multiplier or anything like that. Sweet. Anyways. The um, bag texture at the bottom almost looks like the surface of the moon. Yeah, it kinda does. Actually, that is a really good point. It could be the surface of the moon. Yeah. That would be kind of If it of was sad. like a... <laughs> I almost wonder... If this is a, a really large... Let's see. Like, do they have circle? some nice, like... I bet NASA... So a lot of Na Yeah, a lot of NASA's images are public domain. I think most of them. Sometimes they hire artists to do particular renders of... Uh, and those have copyrights to them, but... I bet we could actually find a really neat actual photo what has like the craters on the mm -hmm. moon and stuff. Oh, that's and what play you brought with it that. up yesterday. To maybe explore some of the Oh, images. the strength with the, what did we do yesterday? We did a lot of, we had a lot of ideas. Yeah, I need, I, I need, we, need to, <laughs> we need to bring that and see if it works. I've got a great this. list of puns. We can, uh, <laughs> let me find my notepad. I was giggling at them. Yeah, maybe it's not a straight line. Maybe it's Take a... me to your grinder. I actually just realized, though, that app might make that not a good tagline. <laughs> Bean me up, Scotty, was definitely my favorite one. Yeah, no, this is just for fun. I mean, there could... I wonder if we Googled it. Did you Google, is there an Eclipse coffee brand? I think I Googled it quickly. I didn't spend <laughs> a lot of time um, researching it, but I don't think there well, is. Well, if there's a... A coffee company out there that's looking to hire. It's done. <laughs> I'm here for some or it's going to be done. You can license this branding. <laughs> Created on live television. 
<clears throat> yeah, so now I'm just kind of exploring the Ah, uh, see, I still options. like it. Like, All I black, also, right? Now I changed my mind. I do like the circle shape instead of the hard. Oh, this is hard. This is where I'd want all of the options. Mm -hmm. I'd be the worst client right now. <laughs> I'd be like, I like this one, and this one, and this one. Maybe I'd pick different versions Oops. of it, depending on which coffee it is. Like, maybe you could even have the moon sort of eclipsing in different variations. So yeah, this is my favorite cool. now. I was so attracted to the the one where it has above. So this is this is uh, before the eclipse. Yeah, the curve looks this super cool. This is in cool. between, and that's like while well, the eclipse is happening. So like, I think this should be the darkest roast on the left because uh -huh. like there's no light at all. But a lighter roast would have more of the yeah the planet showing. What if this is even more? Like each roast just keeps yeah <laughs> varying how much you get. How would it be with the lighter though? Yeah, yeah. See. Someone else said, you should work on the idea of every packaging on different moment of the eclipse. So a variation of the coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yesterday we were playing with the idea that maybe it could be the coffee is strength, but like a little, like uh, we had a, traced all of mm -hmm. the phases of the moon from uh, the waning, what is it, the new moon all the way through. Yeah. And having that be the strength, but like mini. Yeah, this one right here. So we could do like yeah. Uh, and having them kind of filled in depending Maybe on the strength. Like Maybe with this, a varnish, this just like a this. subtle. It could be like a, it could be, um, know, let's see, where we drop it. Yeah, keep the ideas coming, guys. I'm liking this, this flow of discussion. Maybe this doesn't have that box. Let me drop it here. Oh, nice. Make it wide, maybe, or outline. Let's just space this out a little bit. So, wait, how would it go? Maybe it's not the right order. Case the final frontier. There were some really good ones. Sip strong and prosper. The little dripper. <laughs> <laughs> The mocha way. Uh, you guys are great. I wish this is how all work could be done, where you've got like a whole yeah. like squad behind <laughs> you that's like, woo. <laughs> so maybe what we could do is. James asks, when you scan in a texture, how do you make it pure black and white? Uh, you can just play with your levels. I do that a lot. I I'll see. I'll show you guys real quick what I do. You are a master of shortcuts. <laughs> I yeah, I, <laughs> I I actually worked with um, somebody that was really crazy on the shortcuts, and it made me feel really bad. It was actually when I started. Uh, Maybe this is like this is gonna happen to me now, where I'm feeling yeah. bad, so I'm gonna get better at. <laughs> it shortcuts. made me feel really bad because she was my design director and she was working behind me, and I was like, oh, like doing you know going to the menus and stuff, and I was like, oh my god. She was kind of freaking out. We were on a tight deadline. So, um, yeah, I just kind of felt bad and, and started trying. I think the best way to learn the, key, the, the shortcuts is to just grab one and start doing it, applying it throughout the week, every day. Yeah, you it's like learning a language. One. You yeah. practice it a little bit. And then once you got that one down, you move on to another one and another one and another one. And then, so initially the image didn't look wouldn't look this when, when you turn it into bitmap it does the, this kind of pixelated thing and I, I made it low res so it's even more oops that's the wrong one too boldly go where so, no bean has gone before normally nice. you'll get an image and and it won't be extremely sharp it'll be something like that mm -hmm. um and then you can play with your levels if you if the dots are too uh thick on the screen you can just play with your levels and it'll thicken it or, or made him, uh, make them lighter. So you can just go both ways. When, if, if there's nice. like blur edges, <clears throat> when, you move, when you play with your levels, it, you can just kind of set it up to whatever you want. So let's say I want to make it thicker. And uh, then once you, then you go to, uh, depending on how you scan it, it might be RGB. But in this case, I already turned it to grayscale. You have to do that mm -hmm. before you turn it into bitmap. Otherwise, it won't let you. 
uh, and then just do bitmap. And usually I'll do uh, 1200 or 800 DPI, yeah. and I do 50% threshold. And then applies it, and, and you get a sharp image. And, and um, if it's sized properly, you won't see those um, jagged edges. I'm just zooming in super close. Yeah. But it actually adds nice detail if it's when you place it in there. But anyways, That's awesome. I don't need this image. And then you just like brought it in. To, yeah, just uh, brought it in as a TIFF. And that um, becomes, it's a smart object, right? Uh, no. Like as a TIFF, is it, how is it embedded? It's not, it doesn't rasterize it. Does no, it? no, no, it doesn't. It doesn't do anything. I think it works. It works that way, in uh, in in uh, in design as well. You can do the same kind of. It almost has like it almost looks silver right now, with the way the shadowing it's, you've applied yeah. in. I would also Does be attracted to this package if it was full of shiny objects. So yeah, just so you know, bright colors and shiny things <laughs> will always make me want to buy them. I don't know. That could be. An option to have it like Ah, oh, nice, nice. So maybe you kind of just move on to the, the different rows and it's, um, you yeah. know. And, and so is and that so. the actual logo for the, the bean logo, the organic fair trade, or did you just No, no, it? no. Yeah, I just made it. I, I made it. Um, those logos are terrible. I'm going to just... Recommend the client doesn't use it, and hopefully this is I'm just not going. The... It's not going in a major store, and we don't have to worry about any of that. Um, you but just yeah. write one that says definitely not organic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> save. Oh, see now, like I keep changing my mind every time you zoom out. Now I really like the one with the moon in it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this it could be a set, so. So that's that. I want to kind of also explore. I'm going to start just a new document to play around. What if just the word eclipse was actually getting eclipsed by like a oval shape? Did you already sketch that out? Ooh, time for the GoPro. No, I actually, these are the Hold same on. sketches from yesterday. Ooh. I don't know if we Check need to go over. I, I just want to see if I... Uh, so these are the sketches from yesterday. Oop, it's upside down. This is what... So this is the, the process, and we had another, for people who missed it, we also had some layout sketches which were brought in, which is pretty cool. And what's really neat is that you just, you don't usually take pictures and drag them in, you just kind of reference it. Uh, you just look at it while you're creating. You don't necessarily. Um, yeah, need... if I if I'm doing like a detailed illustration that I drew by hand, I'll probably go in and, and uh, like if I draw people or things like that, something like it's nice to get a, 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 a the hand feel of it. Yeah. Um, but for this kind of stuff, it's so um, roughly sketched that it doesn't really matter. Sweet. Oh my god, I'm for, I'm forgetting my key commands here. What's going on? Oh god. Oh, it's, it's cool. locked. So anyways, there was a couple of things I wanted to try. Is there a place you learned the shortcuts? Like, how did you Oh, get it tells into you that? right there. Like, if you... You just kind of do the yeah, tooltip when you just, hover? Yeah, when you hover over it, like, this would say here, it's the A. Okay, so which one should I learn today? This All right. one will say here, oops. It's... Come on. Okay. So anyway, like so for a rectangle, you like just hit M. M. If you were trying to draw a circle, uh, it's an L. Um, and then some of this, key, some of this um, tools over here. Like if you want to scale something, do you think you... it's because it's an ellipse? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. So if you hit, uh, if you want to scale something up, uh, usually you have to go to this menu and click it, and then it'll pop up a window. But if you want to skip that, just click S and then Enter, and it'll pop it for you. Oh, nice. <laughs> so that that one doesn't say there how it works, but most of this work like that, um, like scale. What was what, what there another one? I use commonly. I don't remember. But yeah, I or rotate. I guess. When I used to get tricked by people who'd be like, "This is a fun shortcut," and it was the one that just closes out of your browser, <laughs> so it deletes yeah. everything you're like doing on yeah. the internet. Uh, that happens a lot when you. Was the last time you were Rickrolled? 
Rick roll. Do you not? Oh, shoot. This would have been the perfect time to do it to you for the first time if you've never been Rick rolled. I've never been. I got Rick rolled yesterday on Reddit. <laughs> I shouldn't have clicked the comment, but I really believed them. And then <laughs> it was that music video again <laughs> every time. Oh, get rid of the toolbar and you're forced to learn all of them. That uh, is like a hardcore that is method hardcore. to do it. I was start, I was started one at a time. Um... So you don't go lose your mind. Um, and so, what are okay? So, what are you? Are you making phases of the moon right now? Right now, I'm just. I'm trying. I want to do a version kinda that like kind of shows like um, some like movement somehow. Oh, okay. Okay, so maybe I'll do a little. So I'm gonna. Let me just show the reference of what you're actually doing right now. So right now we've got this sketch here, and we're working on. Bringing it to life. Boop. I'm bringing in a texture that I had, I use all the time. I had pre-mated uh, a while ago. And that was a good question yesterday also. So you have a lot of textures that you've created in the past that you keep in a sort of a, yeah. an archive for you to always resample. And then if you need something new, you'll create new textures and then probably also maybe use those down the road as well. Mm-hmm. Do you always keep them on your computer, or are they like? Yeah, I created like an assets folder, and whatever, wherever I think it, it'd be useful, I I'll uh, go back to it, or I can just access it from there. I'm supposed to go into <laughs> each project individually, looking for it. So what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> I'm gonna try to bring in that texture. Uh, it's a TIFF file, same same thing like yeah. we were doing. Like it, it bring when you bring it in, it's just black then you can just apply any color to it. Nice. Oh, this um, is starting to look a lot like the design work that you had uh, taken pictures of in the books you brought in. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's yeah, getting that like kind of like 60s. That's exactly what I'm trying to reference, like back in the days. Um, old school. This would probably be done with like a, like a um, airbrush. Yeah, it was great. I watched, there was a, Adobe actually recently did a video where they had interviewed a bunch of designers bef who talked about the process of like what typesetting and everything was like mm -hmm. before these yeah. programs existed and how that... like you used to have issues where like ink would just spit out and your entire thing you've been working on for eight hours mm -hmm. would be completely screwed and you'd have yeah. to start over. Oh, thank you, computers. <laughs> it saves a lot of time, yeah. I, it blows my mind to, to just is... go back and think of how people did things back in the days. Yeah. Um, but it's nice because you actually do some of these processes where you do step outside of your yeah. computer quite often. Especially, like, I don't know, I just cannot imagine doing this without a without Illustrator, you know, or the help of, like, you know this the the smart snapping or whatever tools in there. Yeah. And cutting it up. Got the patience. Trace it by hand. I don't even know how you, where you would start. Um, I I do things by hand all the time. I try to replicate to what people did back back then, but not. See, this is yeah. This is beautiful. This is so cool. So maybe. Yeah. This will these will all be recorded on YouTube. Um. So they're all of yesterday should already be up. I think they're usually up within like within the hour, like ten or fifteen minutes afterwards. Yeah. So, um, you should also, like, sometimes I just go in, because I've had some in the past, too, where I'll just Google, like, I could just go Javier Adobe, and it would probably, like, pop right at the top, but it's all under Adobe oh. Creative Clouds. Hopefully not. Hopefully YouTube. you can't find that ever again. Hopefully you <laughs> never <laughs> watch this again. These are not the designs you're looking <laughs> for. I don't know, I think that's kind of doing something, so I'm going to keep playing with it yeah there's something really interesting happening with this yeah. hello her I wish I could read you guys this comments but I'm trying to like I'll read them here, yeah. I'll, I'll try to read them what else do we have going on maybe I should check the Twitter Okay, hashtag Adobe Live. Let's see what we got going on here. We got some uh, people submitting their poster designs. Oh yeah, yesterday we got into checking out this co the Comic Sans project. 
where uh, these people redo everyone's logos in Comic Sans. That was pretty funny. Oh, these posters are looking really great. So, and I don't have the link, but maybe um, someone can post the link to the competition that's going on right now with the posters. I don't know if there's another one I can reference. And then I can just kind of take in, there's a time when you had to iron color copies. What? Well, that's like. <sighs> What's that? Is that old know, school like, techniques? Or? Yeah. Oops. That's wild. I think you could do all this stuff in CS6. That's like back in the day, though. <laughs> I don't know like how well I would do um, actually going back now that I'm so used to the way everything is now to go back to like the first ones that mm -hmm. I use, like I think like Photoshop 7 or something. Yeah. <laughs> I do remember. I get so frustrated. I, <laughs> I think I started with the first or the second version of InDesign. It was probably like InDesign 2 and back in that day everybody was doing Quark and in school that's what they were teaching us. And the, yeah, I've never used Quark. The instructors would get really mad if you didn't use Quark. So I found InDesign and it was so close to Illustrator that I was loving it. And nice. I just started cheating <laughs> and I never told my instructors I was using uh, InDesign <laughs> and nobody ever found out. So. so right now, if you just tuned in, we're designing... Uh, this is a sort of a new exploration on what we were doing yesterday for a fake coffee brand called Eclipse Coffee. Um, and so the inspiration uh, is, you know, an eclipse, the phases of the moon. And we've just been kind of going through lots of different processes. Mm -hmm. um, maybe can you quickly show a peek of some of the other designs and then go right back into this one just so that... Sure. So this is sort of... a. Uh, what we went through yesterday. So we're doing... We've got a lot of interesting options. This is what we worked on. This was today, earlier, today, yeah. which you, like, what, you did in the first, like, 30 minutes? That's Some, so quick. Yeah, it's, now you're it's in just it. moving, you're like... moving things around. This is kind of the fun part. When just, once you have things typeset, you just move them, change them, whatever. I don't really worry about maybe the pairing of the typefaces at this point because... I just want to see if the look and feel is right. Yeah. And then once something is selected, um, we're moving forward with something. I'll go back and and, and really judge the typefaces and see if um, it's a good fit for the for, the, for the brand. Or How not. do we wake up Nightbot? Is he asleep? Is there? I <laughs> wake him up. <laughs> Photoshop five, nice. Actually, I am not from Virginia, but I grew up in DC, so it's actually pretty close to there. That's a pretty good guess. <laughs> Nightbot doesn't like the night shift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the half, night the full shift. half moon. And so what did you use to create this texture? Was this also like airbrushed or something? Like, did you scan um, it? Um, this one, I think, oops, I think, um, what did I do? I think I just made a gradient and bit map it. Yeah, I was just playing with <laughs> Need filters. Need to change its name to Bedbot. <laughs> what does InDesign provide that Illustrator doesn't? That's a good question. Um, it's just uh, um, style sheets for yeah. typography is really helpful, especially if you're building large documents like books or magazines. Um, that. That helps a lot when you're typesetting a lot of stuff. So that that's one. Uh, what else? Um, there we go. I, I think I might be wrong, but I think InDesign likes uh, using more images than Illustrator. Oh yeah. Um, I mean, it's just a different. It has a different purpose. So I think yeah. the end purpose for InDesign is very much so um, like publishing. It's you know, mm -hmm. you're doing a lot of like, for me, the only times I've used it are for like, not just like brochures, but like book design for mm -hmm. the most part, like laying out like large mass quantities of text and yeah. images, doing zines. I haven't done those in a yeah. while. Zines, yeah, definitely. You probably want to use those, I mean, in design. <clears throat> it's 
funny. I haven't used it. I had to use it again recently because it was the first time I had to do a print project when I was still when I still had a full time job. But everything it's been a uh, it's been different programs, mostly just Illustrator. Oh, InDesign is better with links. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah, point. you can do packages, which is nice. Mm -hmm. uh, you can actually package stuff on Illustrator now. Ooh, let me see. Uh, when you just, uh, I think there's an option here, package. Oh, nice. That was is a that nice a newer feature. feature or is that... I think so. I think before that, I we had to rely on uh, other uh, plugins that were you had to buy somewhere else. Oh, I think hello, our... David. Yeah, so we're we're making a, we're doing some branding work right now, making a a fictional coffee brand called Eclipse Coffee. Sweet. Where are you guys all from? Let's see. I didn't actually get to see that before. We're here in San Francisco right now. I'm assuming it's pr probably everybody else's bedtimes because we're kind of all the way over here. <laughs> what time is it now? <clears throat> My brain's so confused. It still thinks I'm in New York. Meaning it thinks it's almost dinner time. <laughs> but it's only one o'clock. How many hours is that? What's the time difference over there? It's only three hours, but still. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just playing around with this, I think. And I'm... so, like, what, are you going to just bring this back in and then put it on the package, or? Yeah. Well, that's going to Trying to cool. create some, like, gradients somehow with texture. Oh, wow. Okay, so we've got Austin, Germany, Israel. We have Chicago, Sweden, Romania. Austria, France, Puerto Rico, Massachusetts. I'm going to be in Toronto in two days. Ooh, Russia? Nice. Wow, you guys are all over the place. Nobody. It's got to be late over there. Zimbabwe? Portugal? Oh, InDesign is also good for data merging. Argentina? Turkey? Did you guys all have delicious dinners? I'm excited <laughs> for my lunchtime dinner that my brain's ready for right now. 11.46 p.m. Whoa. Burning the midnight oil. Are you guys working on any projects right now? What do you guys do while you watch the stream? Someone was uh, gardening while watching the stream yesterday. I saw on Twitter. They like took a picture. <laughs> it was kind of cool. Well, I I'm really want to go to I'm going to make Rica. a bitmap of this so it doesn't crash my computer because I repeated that. Antarctica? Mm -hmm. That's sure. I don't believe you, Holly. No, I'm just going to Toronto for fun. I'm going to see Future Islands. One of my favorite bands. They're only playing festivals in New York Future and not doing Islands. like a small show. So we all just book tickets to go to Toronto and see them instead because they're awesome live. Never heard of them. Yeah, it's fun. I went to school in Buffalo, so I've been to Toronto quite a few times. It's so I always have fun in that city. And we're working on a... It could be an album cover, but we're working on a coffee branding right now for Eclipse Coffee. A coffee that we made up yesterday. Yeah. Or you made up maybe over the weekend? How long did you work on that brief? Yeah, maybe over the weekend. I made a full brief. I was thinking about... A full about, fake brief to work off of, which the... is good. <laughs> I'll have to organize your thoughts on the project. Yeah. Uh, oh, shoot. Seasons is a jam, but those old albums, though, I don't know how far back you've gone. Fantastic. 106 degrees. Ugh, I wouldn't want to eat either. My best diet plan would be just be going somewhere too hot because I never want to eat. <laughs> Nothing but ice cream. Well, what did I do? Working on containing my awe. <laughs> So what is this going to be? It's a very large I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, make coffee a, box. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, just, I think I just made a really large uh, canvas size, but I'm going to crop it. That's funny. We're, we're, we're introducing the world's longest coffee bag. Hmm. This is not looking very sharp. How much is this? Oh, no. I haven't heard of the Zolas before, but I'm going to write it down right now and check them out. Are they on uh, Spotify? Let's see. The 
What else do you guys listen to? I definitely have to listen to music usually when I work. I'm like oh, so yeah. ADHD. Like anything that goes by or pops up, I have to turn notifications off. I don't have sounds or vibrations or anything sure. on my phone because as soon as one thing distracts me, I'll blink and it's been like an hour and I'm like looking at octopuses on <laughs> Wikipedia for some reason. Like I don't know how I get from one thing to the other. But So I'm just going to make a bitmap of this. I'm gonna make a grayscale. Nice. It flattens everything. And then I go to bitmap. Uh, I'm gonna do. I'll just do 800 for now. How do you handle the resolution images when using all the raster textures? Oh, well, they're not. Well, the, the cool thing about the textures is, like we talked before, it doesn't really matter. You really want a texture, so it get, if it gets more pixelated or whatnot, it's okay as long as you have a large image. I, th I think I have a 10 inches height image. So for what I'm working with, this should be fine. Yeah. And I want it to be inverse of that. Otherwise, every, anything that's black, you can color. And if I if I have it like this, ooh, David goes, color. wow! I didn't know my favorite beer was designed by you. Which one <laughs> is it? Which particular beer do you like? Is it the New Belgium? Probably. Yeah. Not just. Did you me. get to drink all the beer while you were like designing it? Yeah. For, yeah, for sure. To I was, get you I was were like, I need to of... figure out. Like, I need to to participate in this before I can design for it. I was a big fan of that beer before uh, we started working on it. Any tips for new graphic designers and selling their work? Selling designs? Um, do you actually sell like prints and stuff of your work or do you mostly just do commercial work? Yeah, I mean, I guess it's just doing social media on it. Um, <clears throat> um, yeah, just start posting it. I do. I, I've sold stuff on Etsy and, and and places like that. You can also just set like a like a PayPal link on your website to. Yeah, I've seen that yeah. before. So I just, I just use Society Six. You just literally post an image and a button from PayPal. I think PayPal supplies that. Just post a code in there, and it should be pretty easy. Nice. So, anyways, I'm gonna. Oh, fat tire. Yeah, that's like the main one you also photographed in the. Yeah. I did not design that by myself. Ooh, I didn't know that they had an eclipse. Is that an emoji? What are these things in this? Is that like a special YouTube emoji? Or they're Google. I know because they've got those weird lumpy heads. You guys know what I'm talking about. I see one right there. Yeah, open workspaces are hard. Uh, I have to have headphones in. I would go crazy if I was at a WeWork. I have like, I have a solo studio now, so I just like go in. That's nice. I do have, um, we have a studio cat named Garfield, though, so he is a little bit distracting, <laughs> but, like, in the cutest way possible. Ah, something... Do you guys have an... Oh, this looks awesome. So I think that's a good start. And I actually like um, this little tab coming in, so I'm going to see what could work on that type of design. From this really quick logo Where inspiration. Logo has made. gone before. You're good, Overton. You guys know I like space puns. Or I like puns in general, to be honest. I love dad jokes. Uh, maybe it's all the same size. We have a little... Eclipse coffee coffee. My favorite thing in Adobe Max was... <laughs> my friend didn't realize when he was filling out the form for his badge that it was going to say he just wrote that he worked for himself but it just said his name twice on his badge <laughs> <laughs> so it was Dan Mumford Dan Mumford that's good yeah it's hilarious are you on Instagram yeah I'll give me um, your handle so I can give it to everybody I think it's I think you can find me on everything by Javier G design Terrible handle, but I couldn't come up with anything else. It's hard. It's also hard because so many things are getting um, take. Like it's hard to find a name now because yeah. so many people exist. My sister just had a baby, and I had a little bit of wine one night and thought like <laughs> I had to lock down all of these like websites and yeah. Google like <laughs> Gmail accounts for this baby for <laughs> in a decade when she might like, mean, write like... her first email. So I already like have them locked down. <laughs> Oh, That's good. good. Yeah, so you you mainly you post most of your finished work on Behance. You have a website, and then yeah. you use what's like your favorite network? Do you like do you do a lot of personal work on Instagram? Yeah, um, yeah. I I I'm really not the, the type of person to pr post that personal photos on Instagram, especially because I have it public. 
But um, yeah, it's mostly work and some little quirky things here and there. Nice. All right, we're gonna let me find some right now. Beep to beep. So, anyways, I think I'm liking where that's going. Let's see what we're gonna get into. How'd you do your? Is your website Squarespace, or did you do it yourself? Uh, it was custom made uh, from a pre-existing uh, WordPress template. Oh, you've got you've got some funny tweets. I remember when I followed you. I thought this was funny. You're six 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 male. Here, yeah, I know. So I'm gonna just pull up these accounts really quickly. I believe I am left. Boop. All right, so we're here. So this is Javier's Twitter. Nice minimal theme. <laughs> what is this? Is this your is this your logo? Yeah. What does it represent? It kind of looks like you like like. A crown, like a king. Yeah, I I have this fascination with um, uh, medieval theme stuff, and that's just kind of derived from that. Um, this is cool. This is it's kind of a castle inspired. Oh, nice! This is cool. So the nice thing about like looking at people's Instagram accounts is that on Behance, the only thing you ever see is just finished pieces and that's only like usually a few times a year for mm -hmm. me i'm not i don't i don't put things on behance until they're completely yeah especially i mean finished. for me working in a in a studio i i kind of stop posting stuff for a while because uh you know you can't really post any of the things you're working on a lot of the stuff is um under non-disclosure contracts so uh progress work you can't show and things like that uh you usually have to keep it to yourself. You have a little bit more liberty when you're freelancing. Um, so yeah, it's it's hard to post for me a lot of progress stuff because I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Okay, I'm just gonna... Do we have this somewhere else? No. I'm gonna copy this layer. So what I do normally is I, I like to do... <clears throat> I like to try different iterations of the same pack, kind of like what we did down here. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is just copy this. And I like to keep it. How many do you think by the end of this process you will have made of like? Um, I usually, we usually explore, explore a lot and, and just really try um, and Do you try different bags it. too? Like would you normally have like multiple types of like coffee bags? Usually um, the format is already <laughs> set. Um, okay. If there's if there's an option to uh, for you to come up with like a custom bag or whatever, um, sometimes what we would do is um, we just kind of agree on one and then or one or two and then people can start exploring on that. Otherwise, I just love it by itself. Could you just jam all the information in that tab and just leave the graphic? Yeah. That's my issue because I'm such like a. Uh, I like yeah, hyper hyper uh, minimal design. I'd be like, screw it. No one even needs to know anything about that. This is even called. Yeah. <laughs> Just look at the bag. Yeah, we could try to do something. It's even blocking too much of it. Are you in a band? No. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not going to tell you guys what band I'm on. Well, these guys are detectives. They're already <laughs> on the case. <laughs> you... But most people are not gonna like no, it. Most thanks, David. Like <laughs> Who said if I was in a band? Uh, I was up. Uh, oh yeah, of course. Someone's looking through your Instagram feed, no, probably. I, Is that your? I know pug? that guy. Is that someone else's pick? I know that guy. He's been stalking me for for days. For days. <laughs> <laughs> Who took all the photos on your website? Uh, Did you, I, you take them yourself, I right? take a lot of them, yeah. We were talking yesterday. It's kind of funny that um, I didn't realize how... Well, I ended up becoming a photographer, but I didn't realize how important it was to learn photography on top of design because in the end, you're going to have to find a way to capture what you've made so you can put it in your portfolio. Mm -hmm. So you're going to need to learn those skills as well. Uh, Simon asks, you just copied your whole artboard. How'd you do that? I uh, grab the little artboard thing here and hold option. Okay. Oh, and David asks, can you briefly explain your layer group setup? 
Um, we did sure. this earlier, but let's just do it one uh, more time because I think I've, people are logging in and out. I think I briefly, and I believe I, I've done it here too. Um, no, I didn't. But normally, uh, like if I have a set of type, just to, since I'm moving things around, I just group this two. Yeah. And then I'm gonna group this two because I want to keep them together. I'm gonna group this one too. And everything's already grouped together, so. And then you also have there's multiple uh, layers right now where you have the a mask yeah. layer. So the way to the way to I access things is I, by just holding Command in and. Um, it's hard with when you the actually A. have to like. Yeah. Your fingers usually just know. Yeah. The shortcuts. If you're on the on the uh, black, uh, what is this called? Section tool, the V. Um, just hold Option and A, and you can select through your groups one mm -hmm. by one so I'll do one uh, it's not working sorry I think it's option it's option so I do one so I already selected the first group and then it selects everything else but I can also go here and I'll select the first group yeah so that's kind of how I grouped everything uh, for this type but also everything inside this layers is grouped yeah oh, I like um, this quite a bit I didn't even realize that was gonna so be on this one so there's a couple layers here I have a black layer for the background, I have the top layer with that image, and I'm just kind of trying to keep this minimal here so we don't lose too much of the graphics. Yeah. But we can just tell the client that he doesn't need to put any type on it. And then, like no type at all. Let's just yeah. have it. We don't need any branding on this. Let's let the artwork speak for itself. Yeah. That would be, we used to joke about, um, uh, we would call it a unicorn if you <laughs> submit something to a client and they have no comments or changes. <laughs> and it's a unicorn because it never happens. It's legendary. Yeah. I've had an internal unicorn once where I like presented something to the creative director and they didn't have any comments on it. <laughs> but I've never had it with a client where they're just like, all right, this is good. Magic. You don't have any work to do. You, you nailed it. Have you guys had one of these? I can't even get a unicorn out of myself. I'll like look at something a day later and be like, "No, I changed my mind." So this, I think, I think for, <clears throat> if we move forward for this direction, it would have to be a, a more artistic take, because this technically wouldn't work for like a large client branding project. But I'm just going to keep the brand over here oh, yeah, and just awesome. tell them to sell. Um, like, Shh, this is what people want. Yeah. People are gonna love it, so just go with it. That's that's gonna be. And so this is also this is a texture that you have in your a folder of textures that you. Yeah, the 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 just a texture that's inside the circles. Yes. So. It was cool yesterday. Javier brought in all the. He was at home throwing ink on paper with toothbrushes and. Let me Oh, you actually have them here. Brought it because I knew. It would... <laughs> here, hold on. Let me. Put it at the front. All right, so we've got, got all these like really cool, and I can use the GoPro also, but I just figured it out. So, just like a quick, I drank too much coffee, so my hands are really shaky, but there was one in particular. I think this is the, there's one that was scanned. So, these were actually scanned and brought in as textures for this project. So, I thought that was really cool. It's so fun seeing other people's, like uh, another person's process. Because I'm just like so hyper digital. Like I just, I'm addicted to my computer now. True life. I like sometimes don't want to leave my computer at home because I'm like, well, what if I need to Photoshop something? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. I bring it with me when I go out. I used to do it, I'd do that a lot on vacations and. I would hop on the computer, but I kind of stop at some point and yeah. just try not to look at it when I'm on vacation, on a real vacation. Oh, the textures were not captured via Adobe Capture, but they definitely could have been. Adobe Capture is a really, really awesome app yeah. um, that's free to download for your iPhone as long as you have an a, a Adobe account. And so you can do all sorts of stuff. You can get color schemes from it. You can make patterns, brushes. I'm really bad at making brushes, but sometimes they turn out really funny by mistake. Like when you like stretch your friend's arms out all wobbly.
Every day I prayed for a unicorn. We're all <laughs> praying for a unicorn. <laughs> Someday one of us will have one, and you're going to have to let me know. They'll make a documentary about it. The time a client picked something that you made with no changes. I thought you were talking about a real unicorn. A real unicorn. That would be cool. That would also be pretty epic. Actually, did you see that article where they're like, this is what unicorns actually looked like? And it was this really, really ugly animal with a horn. No. It was like a, a scary version of a rhino, like a rhino horse. <laughs> yeah, I was like, ugh, way to ruin the magic. Was that, is this texture that you made, was this also scanned? Or was this like made with noise and Photoshop in the beginning and then you just kept it? No, is it digital or is it real? I think it's uh, it's digital. Yeah, it's digital. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I know. It's amazing to see uh, how much you've shifted. We went. We've gone all over the spectrum of aesthetic, the aesthetic yeah. spectrum today. Yeah, that's the idea. We're, I like wanna... you're actually sampling each page in your mood board right now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go back to it. Let's see. Yeah. Kind of going for something like this to kind of show a little bit of movement. And then maybe we can explore... Uh, Ooh, a unicorn yeah. for a save the date. From a bride? <laughs> that's, a, that's a mega unicorn. Uh, what font are you using? Well, there's a couple different fonts, but this yeah, particular I'm, one... I'm trying to stick to um, Typekit fonts, which I never used before. So I'm not extremely familiar with this, but this is Europa. I kind of actually like the, the uh, very geometric features. Um, yeah. Like this A is really nice. So I'm, I'm just using that for the most part. Uh, a few different uh, iterations here and there. But I'm actually kind of digging this one too. Maybe this could wrap around the side so that way you still get that impact yeah. of the graphic. When you're so. doing these, do you ever actually have to have each side of like, do you usually have to do the, do you have it unfolded usually? Yeah, it would just be yeah. just like a flat file. Do you have to print them and then like put them back together? Yeah, we do that when we're getting close Ooh, to... Yeah. Why did the unicorn cross the road? To get a client to approve a project <laughs> without any changes? All right, I'm going to save what I have for now. That's a very good practice. Ooh, what's your favorite font? Um, we I had this yesterday, but Yeah, I don't think I have a very uh, a favorite Gotham font. Gotham Rounded is my favorite right now, but that's because I've been doing the You Don't Own Me series, yeah. so I make neon from it. I've kind of, I kind of got tired, I've never used Rounded, I kind of got tired of Gotham, because yeah, we yeah. use it a lot. Um, I think someone had an article where they were like, oh, like Gotham's the new Comic Sans, <laughs> and I was like, it's overused, but it's definitely not Comic Sans. It, it definitely looks nice however you said it, though. There's something about it, um, but... I usually Ooh, I, I usually just start with more classic typefaces, um, like uh, accidents or trade gothic or. Do you have a color scheme that Futura. you're most attracted to? Like that you always like. I used to always try to use the yeah, color I, salmon I in don't designs, know why so I always, no one would ever accept it. For some reason, I always gravitate towards blue or green. I yeah, I, I don't I'm know really why. Like and, and surprisingly, gray Sierra spectrum. Again. I'm the grayscale. Grayscale? Yeah. I mean, in my photography, there's a lot of color, well, but going, when it comes to design work, I'm going for I'm a lot minimum. of grayscale here. I know. That's why I think these ones are my favorites. Yeah. But I think it's also kind of worth exploring. Espresso I yourself? Guess. Nice one. Maybe for this, this could be a, a, like a color. Whoa, a winged unicorn. Someone had a client that gave them full creative freedom with the design of a shoe drawer and <laughs> didn't want to see anything until it was finished. That's trust. Yeah. You guys earned, that's like earning client respect there. You must have done projects with them in the past. Unless they really trust strangers. I, I think it could be cool for this if we have um, like a different color for the roses too. Yeah. Like if we want to bring in subtle color here and there. Uh, maybe it's a little bit more subtle. I'm just wondering if we get like a, like a what, not like splotchy, but like the galaxy coloring. I wonder if you could make that in like a... Yeah. Gradient somehow. We can sample paint stuff some of in these. Photoshop. Um, let's see. I also kind of want to try red and gray together. Delete this because I already have orange. It. It's a nice high risk color. Orange. It's hard to pull off correctly, but it actually looks really, really nice on digital. I think dark purples and maroons are and browns are the worst on digital. 
just because of how our screen renders thing. God, where is my unicorn? I'm uploading changes as we speak. <laughs> where are you? It's gotta be. It's gotta be late, right? Where are you in California? And it's lunchtime. Yeah, someone. It was. Well, it's gotta be midnight now. Where they were. Different shades of coffee brown for the roast. That could be interesting. Different shades of what? Just uh, everyone's kind of playing with the color ideas mm. in the feed right now. I'm just, you know, reading them to you so you can keep jamming. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it looks like a rose gold laptop, but no. I'm actually usually a really boring person who doesn't like any colors on anything. <laughs> but I thought I would get a little exciting, so I just got a pink cover, but it makes it look kind of rose gold. Tricked ya. But I've already pretty much destroyed it. I do this thing where I Photoshop in bed all the time, and for some reason these things keep breaking. I'm like on my third case this year, but that's why I have the case, so I don't break the computer <laughs> instead. I straight knocked it off the bed the other day and slammed it on the floor in the hotel. <laughs> Some eclipses are orange-red, yeah. There's the lunar eclipse, yeah. and then there... So is this a lunar eclipse, or a, are they the same thing? I don't really no, know they're... I think they're different. I think, yeah, the... The color changes between them. Oh, that's funny. I think this I is know. definitely like when you... Oh, I type TypeScript. Eclipse types. There are four different types of solar eclipse. Partial. Oh, yeah. This is, we're going to get into the... You guys know that song, A Total Eclipse of the Heart? I don't know if you know this. I did karaoke last night for the first time. I don't know if I mentioned <laughs> that to you guys. I've never done it in public before. It's terrifying, but exhilarating. I did two songs. <laughs> you must have liked it. We can experiment with some galactic Now, colors. did this package come with the... Is it just a mock-up, or did it come with the option to have it fully, like, un, unpacked? Like, so you would get... How you would hand it to the printer. Uh, what what it mean? looks oh, like completely unfolded. No, it just... It's just the panels, yeah. <clears throat> it's not the real... Um, die line. Oh, I do use the iPad Pro. Um, not necessarily for my photo editing. Sometimes when I'm remote, it's too heavy to bring my laptop with me on shoots. Like I was in the desert like two weeks ago and I didn't want to drag this around. Mm -hmm. Also, because it gets so hot out there, I think it'll like screw up my laptop. So, but I do, I bring my iPad Pro and I'll sketch little things out because I have this paranoia that I'm going to forget what I'm doing if I don't at least get part of it done. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do it mostly for Adobe Draw is a really amazing. It, you can also send things directly, the vectors to Illustrator, and they open right up on your computer after you've sketched them. Uh -huh. And that's how I did this tattoo, which I can just go pro really quickly. Uh -huh. This yeah. was actually drawn on the iPad Pro in Adobe Draw. Nice. It was one of my pieces. Um, so it's... Yeah. It's, it's Adobe... Fun. It's this analog, is actually analog Adobe. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, and you can use it as a tablet and uh, with the AstroPad app. Terry White showed me that last time. It's pretty wild. Yeah. It just goes live right onto your computer. Ah, damn it. So sure to be. Do you work on Fridays, or do you have one of those cool agencies that does like the summer Fridays? Uh. <laughs> Someone asked. I heard a lot of places don't do. Yeah, I've never I've had worked, a place that does. I've worked very hard on Fridays. <laughs> too uh, hard. Too hard. I, yeah, people don't even know how hard I work on Fridays. I work from home though. Oh, nice. Okay, that's not so bad. That's probably. Um, that's my favorite thing about being a designer is that I can like. <laughs> it's like, wow. Oh God. But then you still could work if both your legs were broken. So like, there's a downside to it also, yeah. where there's no excuse for not working. Because <laughs> you actually, can take a laptop anywhere. I don't know if anywhere. all designers are like this, but I am not very good at answering emails, and uh, no, a lot of people at work aren't either. So uh, um, as surprising as it is, working from home, it's kind of difficult because people you try to get to somebody and like they won't get to you right away. Yeah, or, you know. Versus being in the studio where you can just go and walk up to them and be like, hey, let's, let's look at this or whatever. So um, that's kind of a fun yeah. fun fact. I don't know what I'm doing here. Let's see. I'm just going to paint. The difference between Adobe, Adobe Draw and Adobe Sketch on the iPad is one is vector-based and goes right into Illustrator. And the other one is uh, 
it's not. But the one that's not, Adobe Sketch has a lot more paint texture, so you can actually make things look like an oil paint or watercolor. And the watercolor effect is really crazy because it actually soaks into like a fake paper. It's like really wild. I don't have my iPad on me, otherwise I could show you guys. I'm horrible at using the sketch. I'm not so a great I'm just painter. Quickly see if this would work. I won't use that image that I have there because oh, nice. I just grabbed it from the You're internet. Just mask it? But I'm gonna mask that. And see if it'll work. Oops. What music do you listen to when you work? Uh, I listen to mostly um, mostly punk and electronic music. Nice. Oh my god. We had a coworker who the rest of us like like Spice Girls and like <laughs> things that are like woo that you can yeah. sing along to. And he listens to really hardcore like EDM to the point where like we were trying to do something on a deadline and I started to freak out because I felt like I was in an action movie and that like bad guys were chasing me or something and I was like, we cannot listen to this. Yeah. It's so intense. But that's probably how you get your deadlines done so quickly because look at us, we're it depends. Three, so for work, three uh, hours and 15 minutes into a process and you have quite a few solid options to present to our <laughs> invisible client. I think uh, sometimes, uh, it depends on my mood, sometimes listening to music that is pretty hard like like fast punk or whatever helps. Sometimes uh, just ambient music. Yeah. Uh, I listen to a lot of like electronic ambient stuff that just gets me in the zone super quick because there's, there's no words or anything. Yeah. It's just like ambient, nice sounds. And I straight like listen to podcasts sometimes. I went through a phase where I listened to like every episode of This American Life in less than a month somehow because I was listening to them eight mm -hmm. hours a day. Yeah, nerd for life. Oh, happy hour in the office on Fridays? Nice. How many clicks to make a design usually? How many clicks does it take mm -hmm. to get to the center of a uh, unicorn? One billion <laughs> and three hundred and... It depends on which version. Yeah. <laughs> version final. Final 2.0. Final final. Definitely the final one, I promise. <laughs> I always try to figure out how I'm gonna like stop doing that naming convention, but it always happens where I'll have like deliverable, and then of course there'll be another change somehow, so it's not the final, anyways. Yeah. Make this a Our bit generation smaller. design asks, please, how do you do the masking thing? Because you're using shortcuts right now, so maybe you can explain yeah. a little bit of how you. I you're... just copy. Oops, I just deleted that layer. Let's see. I just copy my layer. This. I just did <laughs> command all. And it selects everything, and then you do Command C. And this uh, works because it's like such a contrasted. Well, the image. mask. This is inside the mask. Yeah. The masks are just easily just black and white. So mm -hmm. whatever's white is showing through. Whatever's black is not. You can either paint on your. <clears> I mean, <throat> you would normally paint on your mask, but you can also drop an image in there. Yeah. Nice. And I like this image you picked. Yeah, let's see. I'm just gonna make a lower res version of this so I can work a little faster. Cause yes, everyone do the poster been... contest. I'm excited to take a look through and see what everyone does. I was tempted to maybe tinker with one myself yesterday, but then I ended up doing karaoke. I got sucked into the nightlife scene. San Francisco got I, me. I think I'm gonna kill this one. You're gonna kill. Oh no. R.I.P. But I'm gonna make this one colorful. Oh, okay, cool. Do you have one that you're m more attracted to in this moment? Um, the newer stuff we worked on, or are you still? I'm not even sure what I've done so far, but I'm just working so fast that. Yeah. Uh, maybe we Good can... night. And by the time you deliver the file name is do not care dot final <laughs> dot PSD. <laughs> that's oh, that's good. a good one, yeah. I do sometimes have funny like inside jokes with myself with my naming conventions. Nobody else gets them. But I make <laughs> myself laugh all the time. And that's all that really matters. There we used to have um do you listen to have... black marble? <laughs> That's probably somebody that knows me. Oh. 
Yep. Robert guy? Black Marble. Um, all day, every day. All day. <laughs> you should care or you are fired. PSD. <laughs> you guys are good. There could be a whole thing of jokes like this. What's your go to <laughs> karaoke song? Well, my only two karaoke songs it was Love Fool by the Cardigans. And then I did um, Garbage Number One Crush. I was very like alt girl last mm -hmm. night. <laughs> I don't mind the, a little bit of color here. I think the color by itself, it's not that exciting. It's because it's, I think the color. It's getting kind yeah, of lost, yeah. The legibility is a little low. Yeah, having the color sprinkled it is fun. You could actually Cause... probably also have done that with paint also as well with the, was it just the paint top from a mm -hmm. spray paint can? And you could do a few. Oh, yeah. Like those guys. I've seen some crazy videos of those like street guys when yeah, they're doing yeah, that stuff. I was like, I was gonna wow. say. Uh, what am I doing here? No, not that. Oh, Sun Kill Moon's dope, yeah. <laughs> it's a small change, but can you? <laughs> yeah. It's never a small change. It's a small change, but like, can you actually redo the whole thing? Thanks. Just trying to see if adding a little bit of color here and there helps. Maybe it's a solid shape. I'm trying to think of what other... What other stuff could be fun? I do like the blue with it, too. What about, like, a pink? There's a lot of pinks in galaxies. Maybe on top with the purple? Do you just keep twisting it? What Rotating do you mean? it? This one? How many... Um, oh, so it's just two right now. Yeah. Digging the pop of color. Yeah. Yeah, I think we could... If we and then you're incorporating it with the... If we come up with a system, yeah, maybe like tying it in <clears> with, with the roast type or something like that could be nice. What's your favorite part of designing? Getting um, paid. Just yeah. Kidding. <laughs> I hate design. I just do it for the money. Um, <laughs> this is the, the fun part. When you already have things in your artboards, yeah. you can just move them around. For me, this is the, the what I hate is just starting, writing a brief or writing a concept or coming up with um, it's it's still fun but it's just you're not seeing anything so as a designer it's not that exciting have you noticed as like a design director now that you're doing more of that other work instead of the design work yeah um, like you do a lot more of the like pitching and uh, strategy work yeah I work we, we we're all kind of involved in that we all kind of participate and come yeah. up with uh, everything um, as a group um, so I think everybody's always kind of done this or been part of this yeah. in some way. Um, so what I'm doing here is I think I have an exploration for this. It uh, looks like we're gonna we can move forward. Um, I'm gonna try some other stuff with this. We tried this. And this I think one. like the bottom two are still my favorite. So uh, maybe let's see what I let's see if I can do something else to this one. Oh, my artwork's a lost cause, guys. It's okay. It gets reposted all the time. I just file. I'm an expert <laughs> copyright infringement report filer. Thanks Google <laughs> yeah. uh, Autofill for just kind of helping. I me, yeah. Helping I was actually out. just stalking you yesterday. Oh nice. I've never seen your work, and it's pretty interesting. Thanks. You guys should check it out. Place. Yeah. Mm. Simon says, really hoping you'll have enough time to go back to the blue packaging and try the gold lettering. Maybe playing with gold and blue. Getting back this into one? that super bright one. Yeah. Gold and blue. <laughs> it's okay then. Scrap that because you pulled it out. No, yeah, that's the thing. Like, it doesn't look that interesting when it's when it's like this. That's why I like to work... Um, In its context? Yeah, it just somehow just makes it look more real. I don't know. Something about it just kind of helps me visualize things a little better. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I just oh, I put it... I see that this is the... I didn't even notice that before, that weird little... Uh... Yeah, the little bulb or whatever that's called. Um... Yes, yeah, so you can go back on YouTube, adobelive.com, and keep watching it for all the secret messages we've been embedding. Aliens. Oh, <laughs> Alien <laughs> messages. I guess we haven't done one that's like straight alien themed, but that doesn't make sense because now like Eclipse is obviously the best theme for this because it's Eclipse coffee. I think we gotta keep the alien stuff coming. Maybe we could do like a, maybe it could be an alien in the fair trade logo. 
You could probably have like a little like uh, Easter egg alien somewhere. Oh, thanks, David. You guys, you're so nice. I actually haven't made any stuff in a while. I've got a lot of photos that I shot over the past month, and I just have not edited any of them. So I don't know if I want to tweak this one too much. Maybe I'll just keep it for now like that, and then we can decide later if we're moving forward with it or not. Yeah. I kind of like it. Oh, my new favorite thing with Illustrator is the fact that it also does what Photoshop does, where when something crashes, it'll actually bring back some of your work instead of just being like, sorry, <laughs> you should have saved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a really great feature. It doesn't always save, so don't rely on that. <laughs> Ooh, what's your most important design principle? That's a good question. That's a hard question. The spotlight's on. I think I need 10 more years of work to answer that question. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Do you have? A design principle? Mm -hmm. Embracing mistakes in your workflow? Yeah, I feel like Half I have to Half the time, be... if I do something on accident, I'll do something on accident that I don't mean to, and it'll end up being the, a new pathway to thinking outside of the my head box. Yeah. Because it's hard to kind of either unlearn things or kind of get out of a flow that you've already had for a long time. Yeah, I, I guess, you know, for me, I think just, just keep exploring. Like, never settle for something. Um, that's just the fun part of designing. You can always just keep going. And <clears throat> if so, you get stuck in one direction, just um, or maybe you have a creative block, just stop working on it and just kind of come back at it the next day uh, with you know a different point of view I think I was listening to the guys that were after me yesterday they said something really nice like they kind of pass around the fi their files when yeah. somebody's tired of working on something so that's keeps it fresh that's something nice to do although it's not always possible when somebody else is busy but yeah passing it on to somebody getting fresh set of eyes on things is, helps but I think for the most part just keep exploring yeah and never just get, like settle for anything composition is quick. also important oh, i like david's don't expand text without holding shift my golden rule oh my god the amount of times where i'm like stop Wait, you like that throw then? yourself when it skews the type, oh. <laughs> and you're just like no yeah and you just like throw yourself on someone's laptop and smack their hand away i think there is like a in in, in recent um years i've had this problem with my shift key yeah. But I don't know if my my laptop well, you're about or you're to upgrade, right? We were yeah. This yesterday. Yeah, but either my laptop, <laughs> but actually, it also also happens at work on my keyboard. I don't know if it's like a something to do with the Wacom plugin, but my shift key doesn't work sometimes. So when I'm trying to scale, it doesn't always have to like let it go and like press it maybe a couple times and then it'll work again. It's just really annoying. So uh, that happens to me a lot, stretching. It was a, is the coffee going to be whole bean or ground? Have you whole made bean. this up? Whole bean? Yeah. Nice. That was a good question. He's really thought this through. He made a full brief. Yeah. That's I was, great. I was just looking at what most bags had in there, but yeah, I think I have some whole bean little tabs here and there. Let's see, what do we also... Oh, how do you deal with creative blocks? We talked about this a little bit yesterday, but maybe you can... Yeah, just maybe stop working on it. Yeah. Do something that doesn't involve too much thinking. I like to... As a hobby, I like to kind of fix old furniture. Oh, so just nice. Sand, sand stuff till it looks good. Oh you don't have to Do you have think. pictures of that? Maybe you can show me tomorrow. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's so amazing. You. That's like a completely, it's another sect of design also. It's And, and I don't do like crazy <laughs> furniture refinish. It's stuff that is just involves me a little bit of cleaning, maybe a little bit of light sanding. And then it, it um, so doing things like that, maybe cooking or doing things like that. Helps to kind of just yeah. like kind of decompress. Yeah, like get over the. Yeah, this is some swanky coffee. I do have a Behance. Oh. Everything's under Witchoria. W i t c h o r i a. It's a portmanteau of witch <laughs> and Victoria. <laughs> Sometimes I stare at a blank artboard. I was trying to figure out a pun in my mind for having like like a creative block party. Mm -hmm. But really, it's just a pity party. It'd be nice to photography um, and working on bicycles those are good hobbies 
I started learning actually. Yeah. I started taking neon classes to learn how to do flame work and bend glass and add gases to it to make fun signage. Mm -hmm. And you also have to learn a little bit more about how electricity works as well when you're doing all the all the wiring to get everything lit and hope you don't electrocute yourself. Yeah, phot photography is also uh, something I do for yeah. fun. Do you have a separate, do you just put everything on your Instagram or do you just? I don't know, I should, I'm mostly like just shooting in, in studio playing with light. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I don't, I'm not really good at shooting stuff outdoors. It always ends up looking the same as what I shoot with my phone. <laughs> so sometimes I stare at a blank artboard and think this is the best art I've ever done. It's where it's polar bear in a snowstorm eating vanilla ice cream. It's good. It's hyper minimal. <laughs> it's post 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 modern. <laughs> Pre internet. <laughs> when do you know the perfect package is ready? You don't. <laughs> you never do. Do you just the one that got away? When the deadline comes and you're close to it, you gotta Ooh, make a decision nice. and um, hope for the best. This sort of is actually giving that a little bit of motion. Yeah, right. Oops. I'm just playing around with this one. See, I mean, I like the layout and the type, but I don't know if it's communicating too much of what. And I Simon uh, when he gets a block, he actually like starts creating something completely different, so he makes music. I wish I had musical talent. It's just that's, not that's there. That's another. That's another good one. Yeah. Make music. I'm actually, not... like, do some weird things where I, like, one of my hobbies was getting a really good credit score. So I would, like, <laughs> psychotically, like, research how to do weird things. And I, like, I have a great credit score now. And what did you do? Did you just buy a bunch of stuff and pay Well, right I, away? like, started monitoring it. And then I would, like, call to argue with people about debts. And I argued my way to a, the best loan rates you can get. <laughs> uh, stepping in. Yeah, Ryan, what's the question? Need for speed shift. <laughs> It'd be great to do a, uh, a poster contest where people have to take Photoshop tools and make them into extreme movie posters. <laughs> I feel like uh, Liquify would be some sort of version of like Flubber. I actually watched Flubber recently. <laughs> it's still a great movie. Is there a current design trend that you can't stand or something when you see in other people's work that you look at in a negative light? Um, yeah, I have, I don't know. I have a hard time seeing type at an angle. Like, okay. But that's just personal thing. Yeah. Design trend for me. Uh, Nothing uh, too much. I feel like I sometimes, once someone's created an app that does something that I work really hard on, and like right now my least favorite thing is the Plotograph app, because I like to make cinemagraphs and these like seamless loops, either in Photoshop or in After Effects, and I spend a lot of time getting these, the motion correct, and then there's this app that goes in and just kind of does this weird looping that for me like drives me crazy, but every if it looks really cool in smoke and stuff, but... Mm -hmm. When you apply it to other, like, clouds, you can tell it's doing this weird blending loop. Mm -hmm. Drives me nuts. <laughs> Ooh, where do you find inspiration? Well, you had a whole bunch of books here, but... Books, yeah. Um... The classics. Now, do you find those at, like, weird bookstores or, like, estate sales and, like, uh, thrift yeah, stores? Yeah, I go to a lot of estate sales and, and thrift stores and book sales. Um, uh, yeah, and I... Yeah, I've been collecting for a while, uh, old older books. Yeah. Mostly kind of like modernist stuff. Um, oops, something happened here. That's another good one. What was your first job? I worked Ooh. at a library, and I also worked at a knitting store kind of at I've the same time. I've done all kinds of things. I don't know if you guys want to hear about it. <laughs> My first job was, uh, I was probably 12. I think uh, Stanford had a a program for youth uh, kids. This already sounds like a like legit job compared to like the children's oh, section no, at the library. Oh no, it wasn't was like, like an office job. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll tell you that. 
I like that was like when the librarian was like, none of these books are organized. And I was like, it's the children's section. They just put books everywhere. You can never keep up. They're just like, eh, eh, eh. Uh, do you have any advice for freelancers? Uh. My new piece of advice that I've learned from having to spend most of my time chasing payments from projects I did eight months ago is that you should put in a late fee stipulation in your contracts so that your clients yeah. pay you on always, time. Yeah, always, always have contracts. Always uh, have them sign something before you uh, do anything. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, try to get maybe like half of your payment ahead of time. Yeah, um, I've never like really been able to pull off the 50%. Sometimes it works. With album covers and stuff, you can do it. But with like huge like happening? corporate projects, I haven't been able to find it. Ooh, Blockbuster. I actually saw a video rental place recently, and I was like, whoa, can't believe this is still a thing in Buffalo. I think it's called Family Video. They still do it up. I don't even I don't even have any ports for a DVD anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the things that, like, I think I've said it a few times here that I'm not a tech guy. So getting rid of that format, it's still too hard for me. I, I think I still have a CD yeah, drive no, here. Bye. The weirdest one is I, I don't have the new computer. I don't like, I'm not loving the dongle life that everyone's trying to force on us right now. Like I definitely need all of these ports I have currently. And the <laughs> fact that they want me to buy a gajillion adapters, yeah. which also makes my computer look ridiculous. That's also why I'm still, st I'm, I'm stuck with this older machine because uh, I was about to buy the new one and then yeah. I learned that it wasn't compatible with my <laughs> monitor, and I'm like, oh, okay, so now I have to buy a new monitor. So I didn't buy it. <laughs> I remember uh, how many late fees I had from blockbuster movies. <laughs> they got me. Yeah. Oh, late fees. I, I so many late I never turned so things in on time. Fees. I'm just kind of exploring. Washing a train by hand? For real? Or is that a joke? Hard labor. I'm trying to think of a pun, but I can't. <laughs> I'm in rough shape today with the... Ooh, a late fee. What about revisions? I somehow yeah, feel guilty fees. charging for revisions, but should there be a clause for revisions in the contract? Yeah, you should always have like a SOW. And if they try to do stuff that's outside the scope, you say, we need to make a new scope for that because it's outside what we're doing now mm -hmm. the yeah. next macbook will just be a dongle <laughs> yeah it's hard i mean if it's not like a ton of changes it's fine but usually i found that everything gets completely out of control with you give them a little bit and they're gonna take as much liberty as mm -hmm. they can with getting you to adjust work so yeah. it's nice to have like a solid scope laid out of what exactly you're gonna put into the process so that when this conversation does come up later, you're like, listen, this is what we agreed to. Yeah, I think I'm I'm guilty of doing things for free for clients. Yeah. Um, sometimes, uh, like when once you start a project, they do, you know, like a logo, and then um, they're threatening you with going with, with somebody else because they're cheaper on like no, a website or like, yeah, a, like well, this maybe website will like, do a logo for maybe twenty-five like, do, dollars. Do my you know, do my logo and, and somebody else will do my business cards. Yeah. And, and sometimes I'll, what I'll do, if I can get something to look nice, uh, I'll probably like uh, like just ask them, hey, like if you print some really cool business cards, spend the money there, don't pay me to design them, and then we can just have something cool in the end. Yeah. So I, mm -hmm. I've done that where, where like if a certain part of the project, like the client doesn't want to pay for it, it also oh. depends on how excited you are about the project. Like, there are yeah, projects exactly. where I'm like, screw oh, it, sure. like, let's go in. Like, you, I know we don't have the budget, but let's make this crazy. You definitely have to be into it. Like, if I do that, it's because I like the logo I design or whatever, yeah. and I want to continue it. Um, but. VHS meme. The VHS cassette 35 years later, and it still remembers where you left off. That's good. <laughs> I remember having to go in when the tape or film or whatever would get screwed up and you'd have to go in and like twist the weird little plastic guys. There's actually a really funny video of little, there's all these videos of kids doing things that we're really familiar with and they didn't know how to use a VCR. <laughs> 
It's pretty yeah, funny. Yeah, those are cool. They're like, what is this thing? Or kids that want to touch the, your TV and just Yeah. <laughs> It was crazy. I was watching like a toddler on the airplane figure out the UI of JetBlue's screens and how at first they like start button mashing and then once they figure out the target areas and like the gestures they can do, mm -hmm. even though it's it's similar but it's different than like the iPads and stuff they play with. Um, it's crazy. It's like you guys are you've got amazing little brains. It's so neat to look back at this now and see like this whole process <laughs> from yesterday and how far you've come. And we, oh, How are wow, you doing on time? It's also 2.40 now. So we've got, what, like 10 minutes? 15 minutes? 15 minutes. All right. Your so. deadline's in 15 minutes. We're going to need a completed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow's um, the big deadline. We'll finalize. We'll pick, we'll pick two maybe. And if there's time, uh, we can clean we it up. I really like this, like, it's super blocky, geometric. This is also going back to that vibe from before. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to do something. I love something. the abstractions. I think there's this there's kind of a sense of motion on this yeah. type of trick that was done a lot back in the day. So, <clears throat> I'm trying to go for something kind of a little bit minimal here. Ooh, Kelly says loving that electro mint green. I am as well. I don't use green enough in my design work. Ooh, what's your favorite film of all time? That's a hard question. Ooh, I have like favorite cheesy film and a favorite maybe. Ooh, what is it? Um, cheesy one is a movie, <laughs> a surfing movie called North Shore. I think I watched that as a kid a million times and uh, that's, it kind of got me inspired to start surfing. Nice. And I'm, I'm not a really good surfer or anything like that, but um, I watched that movie a lot. And then my favorite, favorite, serious movie it's called fire in the sky i watched it when i was pretty young as well and it scared the out of me <laughs> um Ooh. yeah that movie is my favorite movie it's like a real um uh, it's based on a real on a true story no this coffee gigs uh it's fictional yep where is it but if anyone's in the market for a coffee brand <laughs> Did you see Love Actually? <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Heather's used to be my favorite movie, but then things in the U.S. changed a little bit, and now it's kind of weird to watch it. Ooh, nice. Offset. Fire in the sky. We should be friends, man. Says James. <laughs> I don't know what is fire yeah. in the sky about. Is it a scary movie? Aliens. Oh, aliens. It's an alien abduction movie based on a based on a trio on a real event. Oh, which I is... hate those. Nope. I don't like scary movies. I have oh, to sleep with the super lights on. Scary. Except I did like get forced to watch it recently, and like that's the, just like a, a spooky light that like. Is it the old kids. one? Yeah, yeah right. I was like, this isn't is scary a... at all. Every time he appears, it's just like a weird light. Ooh. I haven't watched it in a while, but I remember watching it as a kid, too. I, I like that. Twelve Monkeys I'm... is good. Legally Blonde, too. I actually like hate to say it, but I do love Legally Blonde. <laughs> I love awesomely bad movies. I just watched all the seasons of Friends for the first time in a disgustingly short amount of time for ten seasons. Yeah proud of myself sometimes i just need something on like I that's like my I white this, noise i had this other texture that i didn't get to use is it from uh, what you did yesterday or like an yeah order? it was part of that stuff where is it well thanks jed i hope you turn tune in tomorrow because we're gonna get this bad boy finished up and it's gonna be a unicorn because there <laughs> is no client <laughs> yeah i think Wait, so the aliens get abducted? The aliens get abducted? I don't know, like... Or it's an alien abduction movie where people get abducted by aliens? Yeah, some guy okay. from uh, New Mexico. Robert asks, do you like minimal synth? 
Um, he probably knows me. Yeah. <laughs> That's I, what I figured. Do you watch Ancient Aliens? I, I might have a minimal synth band or not. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. I play. I, I like to play with uh, synthesizers and stuff like that. Someone says, make the black, or Simon says, Simon says, which means you have to do it because that's how the mm -hmm. game goes. Make the black behind the lettering blend into the dots. Make the black behind the lettering? Like make the opacity a little bit, like a little more translucent. Uh, like a gradient. Are you going to the Pitbull concert? Yeah. Pitbull yeah. is my favorite artist. My friend uh, at her we have, wedding had one We have a lot, of, a lot of trolls today, huh? <laughs> uh, had one roll, no Pitbull. And the DJ played Pitbull anyways. Yeah, he always sneaks into a wedding somehow. Um, actually, maybe I'll just fade it. You can do, uh, you can definitely, I usually like right click to make it a little bit. There's a lot of weird ways you can do it, I guess. No. no feathering it, so. okay. Is that what they meant? No, is that, well, I don't know. Is that Maybe what? just the opacity? Yeah. It could be like imagining it as like a varnish could be kind of neat though. So it's got like a yeah. sheen to it. So it's got that like clean. What could we do? <clears throat> what if this dot was like gold? Oh, that's too much. Should we get an over under on how many versions of this we'll have by the end? <laughs> I'm gonna say we're almost lucky number thirteen. Thirteen. Poor thirteen gets a bad. We rep. have iterations of the same. Yeah. So does that count as options or? I don't know. We we get to make the rules. All right. It's, we're you got so much done today. You really like when you start jamming. Maybe we should ask. Which one people like? Yeah, so like, where are you guys in the spectrum of things? Let's do a little tour. Which one should be killed? Right in the last, I th like, I guess. I we think have this one like is definitely killed. A little less than ten minutes. Definitely killed. I mean, even if it was black, he I didn't think... get a rose. This is like The Bachelor, where you can like hand. <laughs> you I don't get a PSD. I don't you get think a PSD. we got to. Um, uh, I don't think it does much for what we're trying to convey. Even if I dropped it. Texture. Yeah. This two actually are What's my funny least. is that if we were presenting this to a client, I feel like they'd be like, oh, like, yeah. maybe we should go with that one. And you're like, yeah. this doesn't have anything to do with an eclipse. So, where are you guys leaning? Like, I'm definitely down in the, like, the. I'm in the black and white vibe. Black and white? Yeah. I think I like the newer one you worked on today somehow more than the ones from yesterday, but. I'm sure tomorrow, or within the hour, I'll change my mind, because I do that quite often. Kill uh, everyone's vote in the blue one off the island. This is like a sad game of like, design survivor. <laughs> like, who the will make one? it through this round? The one you changed it to black, though. No, I would say I still... Uh, no, I don't know. It's between the bottom left and the the middle cent the center. This, uh -huh. this one. I should put, like, a big letter on it. Are we, are we still have time to have time or no? We have about eight minutes. Yeah, it's a bit less. Seven five, minutes. Five. Love the moon surface look. Kelly says still love the top left, bottom left. Jessica says far right. Far right on here. This is hard. We should like label them. Yeah, this will make it easier for tomorrow so people can. With little moons in the background. Yeah. The varnishy one. Yeah, a lot of people are voting number three. My friend actually did this with a logo. They crowdsourced. They were like, they had the one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. five, six. And on Facebook got like 600 comments of people giving like <laughs> design direction, which I thought was fantastic because there's no way that was 600 designers also. <laughs> Good user testing. So, we so have, you just put it on Facebook. We have six options and then I think there's two that got killed. This was nice. So let's just go through them. Yeah, it's hard to. There's one. First contender. Two. Maybe tomorrow I'll also we'll take each of these artboards and we can like put them on Twitter and then link to them so people can actually kind of like make little votes. That could be fun with yeah. these like laid out because people are saying it's hard with all the scrolling. Five's growing oh, on yeah. me also. I'm going too fast over. It. Oh, see. <laughs> 
It's like you guys are betting on horses over, right now. All over the place. <laughs> it's just like one, three, six, two, five, yeah, one, you have six, to pick, one, you have to three. Pick two. Is that three divided by one? Just kidding. It's three slash one. I think I'm between six and two. I might like. Six I think middle two. two though is it's the banger. Yeah. There's something there. So I think tomorrow I'll just we'll yeah, clean everyone up says some post it to Twitter. So one more time, maybe we can post <laughs> Javier's Twitter handle. I'll also which Wario will post this. I'll retweet it so that people can see it. And we'll get some uh, some people's input uh, right when we start the stream tomorrow, and then we're finishing it up. We'll have to cheers over some mm -hmm. some I'm gonna say delicious Eclipse light. coffee when we're done. Place your bets, place your bets, everybody. Be like a really boring version of horse racing. <laughs> Again, eight hours later, we're off. Yeah, these are all so amazing. It's kind of like making me like, now I'm in the mood to design. <laughs> I want to make a fake coffee brand. <laughs> and normally we'll, I'll, we'll do this for, you know, like a more longer than a week and we'll have probably twice as much as this and things will be probably a little bit more refined, but for yeah, we this. should all have a coffee at the end of it. So tomorrow, you guys all need to come. Your homework is to get a cup of coffee. Actually, maybe, like, brew it, like, for the last ten minutes. So you don't have, like, a cold cup of coffee that you've just been sitting with the mm -hmm. entire time. Ooh, I'm starting to get warm. I don't know if I'm blushing a little bit from all this excitement, or it's just the, the lights just are the lights. getting to me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just, I'm stuck. I have a creative block right now. You just like throw <laughs> your laptop and walk off? Yeah. Drops the laptop. This is when you walk away. And My favorite nerdy thing that I have is that I won one of uh, people's choice at one of the creative jams. Have you participated in one of the Adobe creative jams yet? No. That's also a two hour grind, but a live contest where there are winners that get trophies that say best graphic designer. Mine is on my desk. I've never gotten a mm -hmm. trophy in my life. <laughs> yeah, so I've got a trophy now, and it's for graphic design. It was a fun one. We did a good job with that. I was actually the only person, most people used Illustrator. I think I was the only person that was actually doing like live photo retouching, which, and that was crazy. Well, thanks, guys. I'm excited You're to see you tomorrow. A, saving a PDF. I hope the studio's not on fire. Liar, liar, pants on fire. More <laughs> like it. I'm afraid to drink coffee near my computer because I am not coordinated, and I've already ruined several laptops. I'm surprised this one's made it as long as it has. It actually broke once, but I had Apple Care, so that doesn't count. This is actually day two. Final, 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 final. <laughs> Yep, so that's, that's... I was thinking about just getting, because people make fun of participation trophies, just getting them for my friends where every time they do something, I'm like, all right, bud, like, good job. <laughs> Here's a little trophy for you. I think that'd be a great. I'm still all right, not well, sure. I guess uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. It's been super fun. Stay tuned for the next stream. See you guys. Woo! Maybe tomorrow we should have space. <laughs> that would be nice. Yeah. Like a, like a little graphic, so we look like we're... So it's like Whoa. a client presentation. It's like floating. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the premise of a uh, of gravity. Ooh. Can we make it happen? Oh, God, I should have had a Are rope. Gonna... Yeah, that, that's... <laughs> the entire like that. premise of that movie. Why didn't I bring a rope to space? I'm actually just kidding. I've never seen that movie in my life. All right, bye, guys. <laughs>